Most math students don't know this clever trick. Can you solve this problem? If you add 2 to the 2025th power plus 2 to the 2024th power plus 2 to the 2023rd power, which numbers are factors of that sum? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 to choose from. Now, some of them will be factors, some won't. Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Then hit resume when you're ready for the solution. Let's start with the rule of exponent. I could take 2 to the 2025th power. And I could write that as 2 squared times 2 to the 2023rd. When I combine exponents like this, when I have a base to a power times the same base to another power, I add the two powers. This is the same thing, it's just written a little bit differently. I could rewrite 2 to the 2024th power as 2 to the first times 2 to the 2023rd power. I have two terms now, both with the 2 to the 2023rd power in them. And that last term, it already has it, so I'm going to keep it just as it is. That's 2 to the 2023rd power. Let's think of this 2 to the 2023rd as just in x. So this is really like 2 squared times x. And then the second term is 2 to the first times x. I'm going to add that. And then the third term is just like an imaginary 1 as a coefficient here. It's just one of that thing that I've called x. So this problem, really, I could think of it as 2 squared x plus 2 to the first x plus x. Well, that's 4x plus 2x plus x. That's a grand total of 7x. So this expression is really 7 times x. And remember, x was really 2 to the 2023rd power. So this 7x really represents 7 times 2 to the 2023rd power. And this whole expression, using a clever trick, I've been able to rewrite as 7 times 2 to the 2023rd power. Now we're very close to answering this question. This weird expression, weird as it is, is really 7 times this gigantic power of 2. So what are the factors of it? Certainly 7 is one of the factors of this expression. So there's one of our answers. 2 is a factor because I've got 2 not just once, but 2,023 times as factors in fact. So 2 is a factor. 4, that's going to be a factor as well because we've got at least two twos in this number. 5, 6, no, 8. Well, that's for sure going to be a factor because we've got all those powers of 2 built in. You know what? This factored form is 7 and then a whole bunch of 2s. So I'm never actually going to get a 3 or a 5 or a 6 anywhere in the factors. The only numbers that are factors of this sum are 2, 4, 8, which you probably would have guessed looking at it, but then 7 that's the sneaky number that you might not have known until you realized to use this trick. That's this week's Think Fast. If you like solving problems like this, make sure you like or subscribe so that you can get notified when we post new content. And don't forget to tune in next week for another Think Fast challenge.